Hello, welcome to QPB Outdoors. Trip. Today I'm I've got a uh, jambalaya meal in a Pathfinder canteen cup planned. I'm a little scruffy, the barber shops are closed, we're fighting a virus, and we're just going to social distance in the woods. Um, my mom discovered this channel and I told her I was going to take her camping with me, and I'd like you guys to come and join me as well. I was busy uh, putting my uh, underquilt on the hammock and a poncho liner that I lined my underquilt with. And I'll show you guys that this morning. I turned around and the fire is almost perfect. So I'm going to start the jambalaya now. Starting the jambalaya, first of all, I'm going to do the holy trinity of Cajun cooking. Onion, celery, and green pepper. I'm going to saute that in a little bit of... Uh, um, olive oil. At that point I was going to put my uh, venison in, start browning that, but uh, I don't have it. So it's just going to be a dual sausage and uh, shrimp. It's still going to be a good jambalaya. So I'm going to put my uh, sausage in then, uh, then pour my water in, let the sausage and the uh, holy trinity um, soak into that water real well, along with some of my creo seasoning at that point. And, um, and then I'm going to add uh, five minute rice and the shrimp and well i'll add the shrimp a little bit in that seasoned water the shrimp are already pre-cooked and frozen and, and um and then my five minute rice and the shrimp will get a little bit of that creo flavoring and the uh five minute rice will soak up the water now in my creo seasoning i did add some gumbo filet and that's going to thicken up the, the water a little bit so. okay guys i think i got this camera set up where you can um, see, the light was a little bit tricky. Um, I talked about a cutting board in the past, and uh, not having one, I figured up I can use the bottom of my kuska for now. Um, for some of my viewers that don't know what a kuska is, it's basically a wooden cup. It was really traditional um, in uh, Europe, Denmark, Sweden, um, parts of Russia. Uh, uh, all across the the northern part of uh, Europe and it's usually cut out of a birch knot now this one was probably machine manufactured someday I'll cut one myself um, or make one myself I'd love to but uh, I have not carved one yet okay The Holy Trinity. Um, peppers, bell peppers, onion, and celery. I know I'm cutting towards myself. I try not to cut myself. I know I'm not using my Cusco like I said I was going to. pepper fire's hot and cut that up A little more onion. Not that onion. Five minute rule, I wouldn't have had a problem with in the woods, but it just fell into a big pile of uck. 
Okay. I'm gonna get a little olive oil in there and get that uh, started. Okay, I'm just set that in the coals. Uh, I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna go get my gloves for a while in case I have to pull that out and fuss with it. Um, got my shrimp here ready to go. My Ndula sausage ready to go. My Cajun season ready to go. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. What I just got done doing was um, Adjusting some coals under my cup, and then I went ahead and added my uh, undule sausage. So the, the holy trinity, onion, bell pepper, and celery is uh, simmering nicely. I added my smoked sausage. I'm going to let that cook and render for just a little bit. And then... Uh, I don't know. The camera wasn't recording. I at least wasted five minutes of, of time here. Um, uh, I was saying before in the unrecorded part that uh, there's a couple items I forgot. The camp stool would be handy. I'm kind of squatting right now. Um, if I was uh, light camping, I'd just use the hammock as a chair, but sometimes it's nice to sit around the fire and actually have a camp stool. And so I forgot that. The sausage uh, is doing nicely. I think we'll cook that for another two or three minutes, uh, stirring it, and then I'll add my water, uh, let the water infuse with all those flavors, and I'll also add my seasoning. Uh, my Creo seasoning. I think I'm going to call it Hupy B Creo seasoning. I didn't make up a big batch. Um, I cut everything down because I wasn't sure how it was going to be. Um, so I'm using, I just used uh, teaspoons instead of tablespoons. I'd have had enough jambalaya seasoning for a long time. But I want to try it out and see how it goes. And if we like it, we might just mix some up and make it available. Hupy B Creo seasoning. Oh, guys, this is turning out great. That sausage is rendering down nicely. Just another more minute in uh, water and seasoning. Let that uh, boil. Uh, I'm going to let the water come up to temperature, let all those flavors infuse in the water. Then I'll add my shrimp and my rice, and we should be good to go. I'm, I might be after I get one taste of this. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Um water okay i pre-measured my five minute rice and i know that if i could read it straight not backwards oh i'm gonna need it's a one-to-one -one ratio and i got two-thirds of a cup of uh, rice so i'm gonna use two-thirds of a cup of water my kuska is one cup so what i said i was gonna do two-thirds and get a drink I think UPB was dehydrated. It was a lot of work hustling around, getting back in here. Now I'm just going to let that water, it's pretty cold, let it come up to uh, a boil. Oh. Uh, 
this is an experiment. I really don't know how much of this Creo seasoning it's going to take. So, I think I'll just go a little bit more. We'll see. Okay, the water was cold. I'm going to let it come up to temperature. Now, these are unprecedented times. Um, corona is going on right now. And uh, we've been hearing a lot about um, hygiene, hand washing, not touching your face. And uh, it's really hard to do. You get an itch, you scratch yourself and, and not think. And we've really had to become hand Nazis, uh, so to speak. And I hope it didn't offend anybody. But what I mean by that is we really just have to uh, police our hands and, and watch what we're doing. And I got into the subject because I was going to say i got a great cure for not touching your face. Mix up some of this Creo seasoning, have it on your hands, and then itch your cheek. I'll tell you what, your cheek burns. Do not touch your eye. Do not touch any other uh, sensitive areas. This Creo seasoning will stop you from scratching your face or touching yourself anywhere, for sure. This stuff burns. In fact, uh, it had me sneezing like crazy yesterday. I had to um, I was doing it in my kitchen. I had to turn on the uh, um, exhaust above the oven just to get the fumes out of the way so I wasn't sneezing. Um, I'm not going to tell you all the ingredients in there, but I got white pepper, black pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika. Um, it's just a real good Creo seasoning. Oregano, basil, thyme, or thyme gumbo filet. I forget what else. But um, I've got the recipe at home. It is duplicatable. Okay. What do we got? It's warming up. Mmm. Oh, I think I got the seasoning mix right. I really think I got that seasoning mix right. Oh, it's not too hot. Okay, I'm gonna get a little more. Get these coals going here. There we go. There we go. Woo. Well, it's not quite up to a, a boil yet. It's heating up pretty nicely. But I'm gonna add my shrimp. They're still frozen. It's going to take all the heat away from my water and uh, let me get back up to temperature, um, boiling, and then we'll add our rice. And and uh, let it go. Okay, I'm going to build this fire up a little bit more. I was going to suspend my pot over this stick right here over the fire. I got a little piece of uh, bank line in my pocket. <laughs> but, yeah, but the canteen cup's sitting right there, stable, well, kind of stable. And uh, it's boiling. I'm just slowly rotating this, and it's coming up to a boil. I can hear it. It's steaming. All those flavors are infusing. The uh, holy trinity of Cajun cooking, the uh, shrimp, the underlay smoked sausage, the Creo seasoning in the water. Um, it's just all coming together. And that's steaming pretty good. Let's look and see what's happening in there. Oh yeah. You know, you know what? I think we're at a place that I may have lost a little bit to steam. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of water. And then my five minute rice. Now I think I'm going to bring this uh, canteen cup over here a second to pour that in there. The 
rice is in there. We're gonna stir this all together, get it mixed up good. So five, I'm gonna put the lid back on. There we go. Put that next to the fire again. Let it continue to heat. And uh, it's smelling awesome. Wow. Okay, guys, I think the jambalaya is uh, pretty well finished. I threw some more sticks on the fire. I've just been rotating my cup so that one side's always hot. And uh, I checked it uh, a couple minutes ago, and it, it is it is ready. So I'm going to pull it off of the fire. And I'll show you guys. Okay. Get some sausage. There we go. A fresh made jambalaya in a... Uh, Pathfinder Canteen Cup available from Self-Reliance Outfitters. Doesn't that look good? I'm going to let it just sit and rest for a minute and cool off. And then uh, we'll give her a taste. I know I'm going to want a little more. We'll just throw another one in there. All right. I'll bring you down and show you what it looks like again. Camp jambalaya made with fresh ingredients. I used a five minute rice instead of a 20 minute rice. But if you wanted to sit around the campfire all day and cook, you could do that. And I don't mind doing that. But here is my camp jambalaya fresh ingredients. And I'm going to have a taste. I don't know if I'm in the camera shot or not. Make sure I don't burn my roof of my mouth or my tongue like you do on a hot pizza. That always stinks. Mmm. My goodness gracious. That beats anything that came out of a package that you just add water to. Jambalaya. I'm going to sit here and eat this, chill out a little bit, build the fire back up, 